Hi everyone and welcome back to Waterhouse Ford. We're getting close to being able to finish off the transmission case now. There's a few, a few more jobs to do and we're going to try and cover those in a few shorter videos. Uh, in this video we will reinstall the hydraulic pump and the PTO shaft. The next video we will reinstall the top cover uh, and get that connected to the hydraulic pump, uh, in particular to that control valve. Uh, we'll have to see how much of that we can actually show on video because obviously it's working inside the transmission case with both the pump in place and the top cover on and that may or may not, we may or may not be able to capture that on video but we will certainly try. And then the final video to finish it off will be uh, reinstalling the, the lift arms and also the draft control. Now the lift arms, we'll show you how to set those up uh, as best we can, but with the draft control we'll just have to do an initial setting because the proper way to, to set that is to have um, an implement on the tractor, obviously to have the tractor running, the hydraulics working, etc. And of course with the tractor still being restored we can't do that yet. Uh, but we will show you at least how we set it up initially. So that's the three videos that will be coming over the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, we hope you enjoy it. Okay, before we move on to the hydraulic pump, I just wanted to show you we've um, cleaned all of these surfaces, cleaned inside the transmission case. That's all nice and, nice and clean now. We've cleaned these surfaces and I've also cleaned the bottom surface uh, where, the, where the pump goes. Now, over here, We've got the pump as we restored it, rebuilt it, just been uh, protected with uh, plastic bags, make sure it didn't get any dirt in it in the meantime. And then of course here we've got all the gaskets, so we've got the, the bottom gasket which goes on here of course, we've got the uh, gasket that goes on the uh, quadrant the uh, hydraulic quantum, we're not going to put that on today, but that's there anyway. We've got this, which is the um, PTO, the, the, the gasket that goes around the PTO shaft. We've got the bottom a drainage plug, and then we've got the two side covers as well. Now, over here, I've been sorting out bolts. Uh, now, what you can see, I've managed to get replacement bolts for pretty much all of the bolts for the top cover, the bottom cover, um, the plate that goes around the uh, draft control. Well, let's go through them quickly. So these are for the, uh, they go over the hip of the top cover of the lift shaft. So they replace these four here. These four are for the, they go in the side, they, cover, they, go, they hold the lift cover, sorry, the lift arm covers on. And if you remember a couple of videos back, we, we actually mushroomed two of those. Um, so you can see we've got replacements now. So there's two old ones and four new ones. These are the other three medium length uh, bolts that go on the top cover. And then you've got seven shorter ones. These are the three that go around the um, hydraulic, uh, sorry, around the draft control. They go around the, on, on, fit on, on in those plates there. Then we've got the, I think it's nine, that hold the hydraulic pump in. So they all are replaced there. And then here we've got the four that go around the hydraulic quadrant. They hold the hydraulic quadrant on. And again, I've had to um, shorten those slightly because they were, they were a little bit too long. I couldn't get the exact size, so I had to shorten those slightly, but those are now ready. I neglected to get... Um, three-quarter bolts, three-quarter inch bolts, which are for the side covers. So um, I need to order those, but basically I'll have the 12 that go, that hold the side covers on as well. And of course, we'll put those on uh, probably next week once once those have arrived. And then just finally, we've got flat washers for the, uh, that go on the hydraulic pump. And then we've got the two little bolts that hold this, uh, this goes basically, if I come up to the top cover, this sits inside here. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to go in now. In there. Like that. 
And then you can see on the side there, there's two holes there for the two little bowls to hold that in. So that just keeps this, stops this, um, these arms from opening or closing. Obviously, once you've got the control valve um, T piece in there, then you put this in and you bolt that closed, and that just that gives us stability to this because it's obviously quite a long arm. It just gives the stability that you need uh, for that. Okay, so right, let's get on with uh, putting the hydraulic pump in. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get some grease on the surface and then we'll get the gasket out and we'll get that on. You and that lid, Oscar. <laughs> Put it on and then, like, this is my strategy. Put it on and then pretend to get it, to try and get it off, except not get it off. Right, how are we doing, Oscar? We're almost done, just this little bit. Okay, cool, that'll do. Right, now have a look at the gasket and work out which way do you think it goes. Look at the holes. Um, so there are three holes here and yeah. three holes here. Yeah, that's right. That's where the um, heart comes in for the oil pressure. Let's just bring the camera around this. So there you go. And I think that helps to identify it is that bump there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so pop that on. Line it up as best you can. If you line up over there, then I'll line up. Try not to keep the camera. <laughs> okay, it's lining up quite okay. nicely. Okay, it's quite good. Right, now just a little bit of grease on top. Right, that'll do. Okay. Now the next job is to get under the tractor and lift it up into place and get at least two bolts in to, um, to align it and then we'll pop the rest in. Okay, now the challenge is to get the pump in to its right place and get a couple of bolts in to hold it. Now, what we've got at the moment is a top view for you and we will move it, give you a different view uh, in a few minutes. Okay, the pump is in. It was extremely difficult to get it and it was actually very difficult to film it as well. But let me just talk you through what we had to do. The first challenge was keeping the gasket in place. And the only way I could find to do it in the end was to put this bolt in through the gasket and up against the, the, the face of the transmission case. Think, bear in mind that when we start, the bolt is back here and it has to move all, you know, through all of that, that distance. And then by pushing it in and letting it right against the face, it basically keeps it, takes the gasket with it. The gap, there is no gap between here and here when you want to put it in. And that's the, what was happening was as we pushed it forward, the gasket was being pushed back. So the only way I could get over, overcome that was to put these two bolts, one on the side, one on the other side, up against the face, and uh, and that then helped the, or brought the gasket with it. Again, having grease in there does help because it just allows it does help the gasket to slide as you push the pump forward. A couple of other things: we did have to put the PTO shaft in to help guide the um, pump in and keep it straight. The main thing that 
was proving difficult, if I can show you. That red part at the back there houses the auxiliary drive, and it's where the PTO shaft comes through the pump and engages. But it has a flange which has to sit inside the pump. Bring it back towards the me, Oscar. Yeah, there. It has a, a flange that needs to sit inside this casing. And it's a very, very close fit. So you do have to uh, have the pump 100% lined up and then slide it forward. As I said, there's no gap at the bottom between the face, the gasket face of the pump and the gasket face of the transmission case. Um, there's literally very little play there and, and, and you know, it has to be 100% lined up and then it slides forward, pushes forward. So we'll get the, all the bolts in now and um, that'll be the hydraulic pump. Okay, that is now nice and tight. The final thing we'll do is put the um, drain plug back in. Where is the drain? It's uh, up the top there, Oscar, on the bench. That's nice and tight. Very good. Job done. Well, that job done. Now, we need to get the PTO shaft in properly. Okay, now, to get the uh, PTO shaft in, it's real simple. First thing is we need to get a gasket on there. What we'll actually do is put it on the here, which is much easier. Okay, so we're going to put grease on here, on this face. Then we'll slide the gasket on, and then we'll slide the shaft into into the housing. So we'll just get a bit of grease on here first. Okay, and pop the gasket over the top, please, Oscar. Okay, a bit more grease on the gasket. Where's that screwdriver? <coughs> now as you're putting it in, it's got to go through the bush, it's got to go through the pump, it's got to go, and then it's got to engage with the, end, with the um, auxiliary drive from the gearbox. And it, you just have to basically continue to wiggle it and fiddle with it until it actually slides in. But it is really easy um, for such a long shaft and for all the things it needs to go through, you'd expect it to be problematic. but it generally just goes in without any hassle or really just with, just with a little bit of jiggling and a little bit of encouragement it tends to it tends to go in really quite easily now what you want to do is get all four bolts lined up before you push it all the way home just get all four bolts in and then push it all the way in and you can then tighten those up and that <clears throat> will form a good seal around the back end of the 
gearbox or the transmission, the, 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 the differential. And um, of course you saw when we took it out, it does need a little bit of encouragement because it does tend to seal up um, quite well against the, against the differential face. Yeah. With the gearbox? Yeah. Are you sure we're not going to need to take that out again? <coughs> That's a very good point, Oscar. So, I've been thinking about this, and it's worth mentioning that on the camera that we may well need to remove the PTO shaft again when we come to the gearbox um, because we will want to check the bearings and the bushes and everything in that auxiliary drive and for that we may need to remove the PTO shaft again. However, as you can see it's a really straightforward easy job so I don't mind doing this now primarily to finish off this series or this section of the videos of the transmission case so that for people who are following just to understand how to work or how to restore the hydraulic pump then they've got the whole series, right? Yeah. Right, final thing is the cap, which is also up there, please Oscar. Now the cap really just goes on to protect the PTO shaft. It's, uh, it's not an essential component, but um, because we have one, we're going to put it on. We need to just Grease these threads a little bit. Now the cap is aluminium, so it's a soft metal, and this case obviously is, is steel. So you do need to be careful and not uh, not allow the threads to strip, because the threads on the cap will will go first. Now, luckily, the caps are cheap to replace so that's not the end of the world but that's it just a little nick just to hold it on and that is basically it okay people well thank you very much for watching that's um, maybe not the most interesting video as I said the uh, getting that hydraulic pump in is a very very fine process you have to uh, work it through or work with it very gently very carefully think it through all the way uh, but in essence, the, the hydraulic pump has to come up. It's situated back here. You've got to bring it up into position and then slide it forward to engage with that auxiliary drive at the front of the tractor. Again, all parts are supplied by Anglo AgriParts. You can visit them at angloagriparts.com and I'm sure that they'll be happy to help find or supply the parts that you need uh, for your tractor and for whatever restoration job you're doing. We thank them for their support and uh, I hope that you will help by supporting them as well. Well thanks very much for watching. Uh, next video we will be putting the top cover on and the, the complex thing there is going to be connecting the shaft to that um, the control valve T piece which is right down the bottom there. Again, I don't know whether, I, I doubt whether we're actually going to be able to get, get that on camera, but um, we'll talk you through what we do as we go. So once again, from Oscar and I, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.